Prometheus and the Mythology of Fire Prometheus is one of the most famous figures in Greek mythology. He is known as the Titan who stole fire from the gods and gave it to humanity, an act that enabled progress and civilization. He is also known as the benefactor and protector of mankind, who suffered a terrible punishment for his rebellion against Zeus. But who was Prometheus, and why did he decide to defy the king of the gods? What is the significance of fire in ancient myths and cultures? And how did Prometheus influence later art and literature? We will explore these questions and more, as we delve into the fascinating story of Prometheus and the mythology of fire. Prometheus, the Titan who stole fire. Prometheus was the son of Iapetus, one of the Titans who ruled the world before the Olympian gods. His name means forethought, and he was said to be very intelligent and cunning. He had a brother named Epimetheus, whose name means afterthought, and who was not as clever or careful as Prometheus. According to some versions of the myth, Prometheus and Epimetheus were tasked by Zeus to create the first humans out of clay. Prometheus shaped them in the image of the gods, while Epimetheus gave them different gifts and abilities. However, Epimetheus was so generous that he used up all the gifts before he got to humans, leaving them naked and helpless. Prometheus felt sorry for his creations, and decided to help them in any way he could. He taught them various arts and skills, such as writing, medicine, agriculture, and astronomy. He also tricked Zeus into accepting the bones and fat of animals as sacrifices from humans, while keeping the meat for themselves. But the most important gift that Prometheus gave to humans was fire. Fire was a divine prerogative, reserved only for the gods. It was the source of life, light, warmth, and power. It also symbolized knowledge, creativity, and civilization. By stealing fire from Olympus and giving it to humans, Prometheus not only enabled them to survive and thrive, but also challenged the authority and supremacy of Zeus. Zeus was furious when he discovered what Prometheus had done. He decided to punish both Prometheus and humanity for their audacity. He ordered Hephaestus, the god of fire and craftsmanship, to create a beautiful woman out of clay, named Pandora. She was given various gifts by the gods, such as beauty, charm, grace, and curiosity. She was also given a jar that contained all the evils of the world, such as disease, war, famine, old age, and death. Zeus sent Pandora to Epimetheus as a bride, knowing that he would not heed his brother's warning to not accept any gifts from Zeus. Epimetheus fell in love with Pandora at first sight, and welcomed her into his home. He also allowed her to open the jar that she brought with her, unleashing all the evils that plagued humanity ever since. Only hope remained inside the jar, as a consolation for human suffering. As for Prometheus, Zeus chained him to a rock on Mount Caucasus, where an eagle would come every day and eat his liver. His liver would grow back every night, only to be devoured again the next day. This was his eternal torment for his crime against Zeus. Prometheus endured his agony for many years, until he was finally freed by Heracles, the son of Zeus and a mortal woman. Heracles was performing his famous twelve labors, one of which was to slay the eagle that tormented Prometheus. He also obtained Zeus' permission to release Prometheus from his chains, on the condition that he would wear a ring made from the rock that he was bound to, as a reminder of his offense. Prometheus, the symbol of rebellion and progress. Prometheus has been regarded as a hero and a martyr by many cultures and thinkers throughout history. He is seen as a symbol of rebellion against tyranny, oppression, and injustice. He is also seen as a symbol of progress, innovation, 